Hi there, everyone, and this is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. First and foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy new year. And it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of 2021 be your best year ever filled with much love, happiness, and great joy, much better than how it was last year, of course. Now, to celebrate this um, starting this year of 2021 for the month of January, I am doing a very um, highly detailed and in-depth reading for each and every every signs out there, basically, wherein I am doing a combination of the tarot, uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video, uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time. So, you know, we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021. As I believe that every January, it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year. So, um... If you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time so don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more so um yeah without any further ado let's just get started hi there virgo virgo sun moon and rising sign this is your um, January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, yeah, um, just so you know before we begin the video that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Virgo people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along, especially for this month, because I'm using two decks, like I've mentioned earlier in the, the introduction of this video. And uh, because I'm using two decks, it can be very detailed, it can be very specific, um, which is actually a good thing if you are, you know, resonating to the reading. Um, so this is like a free reading for you. And uh, the downside into that is that it, because it can be very specific, it's not going to be for each and everyone, you know, not everyone's going to resonate with that. So my biggest advice when handling this type of reading is that you have to use your own intuition, um, uh, to see through if you are actually resonating to the reading, uh, if this is what's really happening into your past, your present, and you know what might come into the future. So um, yeah, so take in what resonates and leave the rest behind is really the key here. So um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading for this month. Now we're starting off with the Three of Wands and the Hermit card. Now, this is a very reflective energy. So you could be starting off um, the month of January 2021. It, for some of you, it could be a depressing mood. And I'm not here to, to dampen your mood when it's already not 
feeling good. It's just that we are talking about the present situa- situation, you know, what you're, what you're going through at this time. So if you're not resonating with that, you can just skip this video. Maybe it's not for you. However, it's being crossed over by the Ten of Swords. This is why I'm saying that maybe there is something that is not entirely making you happy, not really satisfying you as a whole. So basically, we should imagine that the Three of Wands and the Hermit in combination is being crossed over by the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So this is a situation wherein you might feel very reflective of whatever situation you are going through. Maybe something has upset you or there is a situation that you are being cautious about, being guarded about. Uh, it's like you are finding answers into things and at the same time, you're also frustrated. Frustrated would be the right word. Um, there is something that is not making you feel really, really happy. But all at the same time, you're actually looking forward into the new year, you know. Uh, you are looking forward for a new beginning. It's just that what is being emphasized here is that there is something that is not satisfying your mood during uh, maybe the beginning of the new year, you know. Uh, so uh, over here we have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So this could be a point wherein uh, you're really wanting to... There's a lot of things that you want to begin, you know. You're actually very excited of the new year. There's a lot of things that you want to do. Uh, you could be making a lot of plannings, a lot of initiation, whether it is about a career endeavor, it could be a personal endeavor, or it could be with a relationship. You have a lot of plans, or at the very least, there are a lot of things that you are wishing for to feel <laughs> and experience all at the same time. In your immediate past, we have here the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So this is actually a very wonderful card especially when we are looking to a relationship reading just like this one it is because that this is a situation wherein maybe um there's a lot of ha good happenings into your love life or you could be in a very serious relationship right now or this could be a relationship that you can actually think like a marriage type of situation maybe you're thinking of of getting married or you might have found someone that is fit for a marriage material that kind of energy this makes you feel uh well not really feel but this makes you look forward to the future at hand basically however um for some reason though we have here the knight of pentacles and the ten of swords so you know, I'm really having mixed energies here wherein uh, you are not feeling happy, but at the same time, we're seeing that everything is actually looking okay. And then your thoughts about the situation is not exactly satisfying all at the same time. We have the Ten of Swords, so maybe you are... Uh, there is really something that you are disappointed with or at the very least there is something negative that you are thinking about that is for sure um, it could be that the situation is not as negative as it sounds but for some reason reason you're taking this in a very negative way for I don't know what reason I mean um, a lot of very good people can be very critical and overly critical about themselves about the relationship that they have so i'm not sure if there is really something going on in your relationship or this is just you and in your head so um However, this is a situation wherein there is something that, you know, maybe you're wanting and you're not really having it. And, you know, there's a lot of things that you are really thinking thinking about. And maybe you have already forgotten the happy moments of the relationship as even, you know. So, um, I don't know, maybe are you stuck with the past? Are you stuck with the things that are is not working in your life? You might be, you know, focusing too much on the negative aspect of things and not really focusing on what is really good and happening. Uh, the good things that are happening in your life basically uh in the near future we are seeing here the tower card and the page of swords now this combination is quite tricky because this could be uh, a situation that really gets a blow up or something like that so if you're having trust issues in the relationship or there is a 
um, a sudden surprise that might occur in your relationship, you might take this the wrong way, you know. Uh, this can also be a situation wherein, you know, you are already not trusting the person or you are already having doubts and then another situation comes up and this really will shake you up, you know. Um, this can also be a situation wherein you might, you know, get a eureka moment about something, having a lot of hunches in you. However, with the Page of Swords over here, we're not really sure if you are assuming something without uh, concrete facts or uh, you might actually find out something real, you know, you might find out something like serious serious stuff and this actually might lead you to have some form of a difficult situation it can also be that um you might hear some negative news uh relating to your partner or your partner might experience something of sort i mean right now i don't know i'm just seeing here that there could be a surprising news that can come that can really uh change things up for you um or at the very least change things up in the relationship situation that you are in at this time. We have here the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is, you know, it could be just a... Uh, this could be just a situation wherein someone is being negative, someone is being pessimistic, and this really can up upset anyone, you know, not just you. Uh, this can also be a situation wherein, you know... Um, someone keeps bringing up something in the situ in the relationship or situation that is not really making anyone happy and that can cause some form of friction in the relationship we are seeing here a lot of um difficult cards i would say we have here the queen of wands and the eight of cups so this can be you uh you know um really wanting to withdraw with certain things like uh you might be thinking of venturing into leaving a situation behind because it's just too much taxing you know emotional baggage and all of that there's just too much of it this can also be a situation wherein you know you might need to reflect on your own emotions you know maybe you are um handling things in the wrong way um it could be either of those. I just kind of feel that, you know, emotionally wise, this month might be a roller coaster ride for you. You might be feeling quite a lot, a lot of intensity. And this could be something to do with uh, an emotional trauma that you have experienced. It could be something that is not even related to the relationship uh, that you have at this time. This could be, you know, some form of situation wherein... Um, disappointments might be creeping up on you or maybe someone has already disappointed you in the past and you are fearful that maybe they are gonna be disappointing you once again so it makes me feel that you know the past is being brought up again and again to the surface of things and this is creating conflict into the relationship taking into consideration that you are in a relationship of course um if I'm going to see this in a uh, reading for single people, this could be a situation wherein uh, you could be depressed, you know, there is something that is not making you happy and you're feeling very, very negative about certain things, you know. It's like on one point, I'm, very, I'm being very negative at another as part of me uh, wants to be positive. It's just that, I tend to focus on the negative. You know, that is the thought pattern that we are picking up over here. And towards the near future, for those of you who are single, this could be a situation wherein um, there could be thoughts that are lingering, you know, b basically the same way that I'm picking up earlier. There could be negative thoughts coming into you or there could be some form of sudden situation, sudden happening, entering in your life that... E that can cause you to linger into the past or that can cause some form of emotional trauma in you. And I'm not here to be very pessimistic into the reading. Um, that's not really my goal, but I'm just telling you guys what I see into this uh, 
uh, forecast reading. Again, this can be something, you know, it doesn't have to be a negative situation. This can be just you, your personality, a part of your persona or your self-limiting belief, you know. Um, it's like you have been positive for quite a while and then now you're being negative again and maybe it doesn't have any reason. This is just maybe you having a habit of being disappointed and, you know, because of that having a habit of being disappointed, uh, the resurfacing of these things or little things that can make you... Um, that can make you be guarded on certain things or that can make you assume on certain things, you know. Little bits of pieces can escalate even though it doesn't have to. So there could be issues of a sort like that as well. You're also seeing here the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Swords. This could also be a situation wherein, depending on what will happen for you in the near future, which will probably occur around the middle or end of January, I kind of feel that, you know, you are going to be making a decision about the course of your relationship. Uh, this is really more of a fate and destiny card of sort and you will have to make a decision you, you will have to decide on certain things or you could be changing a pathway uh, when it comes to your relationship or personal life overall we also have here the five of cups and the six of cups in a nutshell i kind of feel that this could be you know the past resurfacing you could be rekindling with someone in the past even you know that might be just the issue at hand you know you might hear from someone in the past or this could be also a situation wherein um some form of friend might be having some form of difficulty and they are going to keep in touch with you i mean at this point i really cannot say which is which i just kind of feel that you know there's really some form of heaviness into this reading i have to admit that uh, there is an energy here wherein you know there's a lot of emotions involved and a lot of the emotions and energies are not really on the negative plane but it's really more of the doubts, there are doubts, frustration, and always thinking about the past, thinking about what has already been done, thinking about what has happened, is really lingering into the surface of things. This can also be a situation wherein you can actually um, resolve whatever issues that you have into the relationship. Um, I just kind of feel that, you know, this could be the, mo the month wherein you have to face some form of emotional traumas, emotional issues that you have personally or in the relationship. Or else things will just blow up out of proportion. So um, there's a lot of things that you need to resolve, a lot of discussions that might be needs to discuss between you and your partner. Or... um. Again, if you're single, this could be a moment wherein you might be reminiscing um, a past lover, probably. And, you know, um, maybe you are going to be taking action. Um, I don't know what action that is, but it's probably related to your past, um, a past issue at hand. So, um, yeah, um, very... There could be also messages right here, you know, messages that need some form of clarity and insight. You know, you need to understand something. There's something that is that feels weird into the situation and you are going to find or at the very least, you are going to try to find out what it is that is bogging you into this. You know, something is amiss, basically, is what we're seeing here. So, some form of breakthrough in a situation or a relationship can actually happen. It can be in a form of improvement. It can be in a form of a breakout or a breakthrough. So... Um, I guess this can turn into different ways depending on your personal situation during this time. So I do believe though that th this can be discussed, um, you know, um, 
this can be worked out, it can be discussed, and then a mutual um a mutual situation or um conclusion might come out of it. Uh it's just that for me right now your emotions are just going on different corners of the stick. So it's all going haywire and I kind of feel that you need to address this to your partner or whoever it is that is involved into the situation um, as much as possible um, throughout the month or else, you know, it's not only you who's going to suffer, but the relationship is going to become resentful at the end as a result if you keep on keeping in your feelings within yourself and not trying to be open to what you really feel or what you really think. So let us see what we have over here. Again, we have here the book card again. Um, throughout this January, I keep getting the book. And the book is all about discoveries and secrets. There could be some form of surprises. Surprises. Um, and then we have here the cross card and the ship. The ship is probably someone, something or someone from afar. Or this can also be travel, movement. And because we have here the cross card, this is making me feel that, you know, there is, you know, a discovery of something quite shocking that could be some coming from foreign lands or, um, that has to do with your hopes and dreams and desires. Um, or this can be happening through a trip or uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then we have here the connections and, uh, and conflict uh, card that we have over here. So we all know that, you know, because of these cards, we are seeing that there could be some form of conflict with uh, a meeting that can occur or... To be honest, having this card can also be sexual um, energy. But because of the cross card and the ship, I'm not seeing that in a very positive sense now. This is really more of a... Uh, becoming more of a burden of, of some kind. With the letter and the tree card, you might hear... Uh, you might hear something about a health situation or something that you have been always wanting to hear. Uh, there, there could be news about that. And it could be a difficult news for some. Um, but it can also be positive. <laughs> I'm trying to be positive, basically. But um, if I do try to mirror this one and this one, this could be a difficult news. Um, you might hear a difficult news, basically, is the meaning of that. And then over here, uh, this is going to be, you know, a woman and moon card, basically, as a form of recognition. You are going to find out something, especially because we are going to mirror the woman card and the, and the book uh, combination with the bouquet. Uh, this is like telling us that this woman is going to find out something and they are going to find it out in a very surprising manner. So there is that. Um, of course, this can also be a wonderful discovery. Maybe it is fated or maybe you are going to find out your own spiritual pursuit. I don't know. Um, all we know here is that there's going. this is a month we're in. It's going to surprise you. And nothing that you plan will work in the way that you envision things to be you know things are constantly going going to change and um you cannot just handle it by yourself you need to work with someone you need to talk to someone um you need to um work things out with a partner or a team um, so that you can actually move forward with things, so that you can actually have great understanding to whatever endeavor or situation that you are going through at this time. So um, with that, I close this reading. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity into your situation. I do apologize if this might not be the best reading or something that you are hoping to hear. Um... Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you guys what I see into this. Um, 
again, if it doesn't resonate with you, just leave it out and maybe you can go back into this reading maybe at the end of the month and then maybe you can make sense of it. I mean, who knows, right? Um, so yeah, if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you and your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye. <laughs>